Lawbreakers, well, it's it's hit a bit of a rough patch. Now, if you were to go look at its Metacritic score or even go over to its Steam page, you're going to see the ratings aren't necessarily terrible. It's not that it's a horrible game. It's a middling game. It's a gap filler. It's the sort of title that gets lost in the ether between two releases you really give a shit about. It's nondescript, doesn't really stand out from the crowd, and no amount of marketing. $29.99, none of that $60 multiplayer only bullshit. $29.99, and I always say, not this $60 multiplayer only bullshit. Is going to change that. But the rough patch that Lawbreakers has run into is quite remarkable. If you look at the press that's out there for it, you pretty much can declare it's dead as doornails. Ten people online at once. That game is put it in a fucking coffin and bury it six feet under because it's never coming back. More people play fucking Ace of Spades than play Lawbreakers with numbers like that. Now, I can't really attribute why that is. I can't really give you a clear, distinct reason why Lawbreakers is just dropped off the face of the earth. I mean, it has all the key components that a good game needs to have, like plenty of gender-neutral bathrooms. That's the sort of shit that you want in there, right next to Capture the Flag and Team Deathmatch. And the creator of it, well, he's a, <laughs> he's, he's a unique individual. That is a real tweet, by the way, and a real picture. I didn't make that up. You can go check for yourself. That is 100% Cliff Belinsky. And yet, even with a cuck promoting transsexual bathroom rights in a video game, for some reason, Lawbreakers is just, it's just gone. It's poof. It's, it's fucking vanished. Nobody is playing it. And that earlier article isn't far off the mark. The 10-player low point isn't that far off from what its current metrics are. 21 people in the last half an hour, 76 maximum within a day. You go out and you put down $30 for this game, and you're going to be lucky if you run into 76 people. That is some sad fucking shit. So you'd think this is all over, but... No, it's not. We live in the age of social media influencers. You know what a social media influencer is, right? That's an asshole that makes videos on the internet or tweets things or talks about things on their blog and gets paid to switch your opinion on something. They have the influence. They get the little sheeple out there. You, you little cogs in the machine. They get you to change your mind and do what they want because they're getting paid at the behest of a company that needs to turn around their PR because their product is shit. And that perfectly segues into... A couple of geeks, who really should be called a couple of shills, because that's pretty much what they fucking are. But why explain this when I can show it to you instead? Now, you might be saying I'm doing this purely for some form of paid promotion. Everyone comes onto our stream saying, oh, you've been paid to say good things about the game. No shit. Buy the game. But we need to play this game. And we need to help. And we love this game. We need to support it. If you haven't bought the game already, buy the game. It's amazing. Fuck you. Buy the game. God, there's, there seems to be a bit of a heavy fucking push to buy this video game. You need to run up. It's important. Fuck the haters. Fuck those haters. You need to go out and buy this video game. Have you bought it yet? Did you buy this video game? You need to go purchase it. Purchase it immediately. Are you smoking yet? And this is shit they've been doing for months. Listen to this video about the fucking beta. He acts like it's the, the best thing on earth. I've never experienced a video game like this. Oh my god, Lawbreakers is amazing. And today I want to talk to you guys about how much I've missed Lawbreakers since the beta ended. And it's unreal how much I've actually missed this game. The only game I've actually ever felt this way about was Titanfall 1 when that first came out years ago and the beta was released and we played on Angel City. The feelings I had for that game were incredible. And now since I've started playing Lawbreakers and the beta ended, those feelings have come back to me. Oh, we're not shilling. We're not getting paid to do this. We're not social media influencers, even though I'm nagging you to go buy a video game that has 76 fucking people playing it. Fuck you. Buy the game that nobody gives a shit about, that is dropped off the face of the earth. But no, I love this game so much that I'm going to constantly push it on every piece of social media that I have and all the videos that I do and the streams that I cover because I love it so much. I'm fucking doing it for free here. I mean, hell, if you go look at their fucking YouTube channel, the video that auto plays for you is a trailer for the goddamn game. What the fuck happened to you, Cliffy? Did that Oculus money fuck with your head? Like, what, what is going on here? This isn't how you make people interested in a video game, shoving it down their fucking throats with obvious shill videos, with social media marketing campaigns put through a proxy like this bullshit. It's so fucking obvious. Now, oh sure, I could be wrong. Maybe these people are the biggest fans of lawbreakers that have ever existed. Fucking kudos to them. They're, 
Their king of the hill is 76 fucking people. They are the number one fan of this video game. Number one out of 76. But I'm not buying your fucking video game. 